Hi, my name's Brad and today I want to talk to you about something that I'm really excited about. We've developed and finally finished our fully rollerized rocker arm for the Ford Barra engine. Now the Ford Barra engines have got a stamp steel rocker um, that has various problems. They're not overly durable, they do break in half uh, after a while. So what we've decided to do is look at how to make the valve train stronger but in a cost effective manner. So originally we looked at a, a full st uh, stainless steel or investment cast rocker arm and the costs were very prohibitive. So what we decided to do was look at what the OE has done and used a forged steel stamping to make the body of the rocker arm. Now it's a very cost effective way to make a really good quality and very, very strong product. Uh, we made a few design improvements along the way with the rocker. I made the roller trunnion 25% wider than the original to spread the load on the cam lobes. Everybody knows that they wear out cam loads very rapidly, so by increasing the width of that reduces the point loading. Secondly, we put a fully rollerized tip on the tip end, so in this case the valve can then only be pushed directly down in the guide like that. Uh, with the factory rocker, it has like a skid plate on the end, and with a skid plate it pushes the valve sideways in the guide like that as the rocker follows the arc of the movement of the camshaft. So we've reduced the frictional loading substantially on the end. These little guide tangs that we put on here, I made them slightly shorter so there's more retainer clearance. We designed the rocker to be a 2.05 to one ratio. Uh, the original rockers are two to one to 2.1 to one. So we've got a really, really accurate valve train movement now with this rocker. The rocker is a little heavier than standard, but we're able to keep the tip weight down to only six grams over standard. So it's turned out to be an amazing product. We've got uh, friction-free rollers in the center of it. We've put a much tighter needle roller pack inside the, the rocker arm to give uh, less friction. And um, we've been testing them. We've had them to 9,000 RPM without any problems. So, uh, so that's, the, that's our rocker. We'll be releasing them as soon as our patent is cleared. Uh, we've already got provisional approval on the patent, which I'm really, uh, really impressed about. Uh, so now we have to do is get the final clearance through and then we'll be able to sell them. Uh, but this is going to be one of the uh, uh, standout products from Atomic, I think, in 2020.